everyone, Amanda here. Thanks for joining me. If you are new, please do subscribe um, so that you see other stuff that I'm uploading. <laughs> so today I'm doing some journals. I've got about three different journals in my mind that I need to get out. Um, <laughs> otherwise I don't sleep because I'm thinking about them. So I need to get them made. Um, and one of them is kind of like a generic one about Victorian people. And so I'm just going to make some journaling cards. So this is a uh, fantastic this. It's called it's from Craft Sensations. I've had this quite a while. I actually got it for Alexia. Um who likes to do drawing. Um and then you know she gets bored and stops bothering. So in here you've got different kinds of pa uh, paper like this is quite thin at the at the beginning for drawing and then it gets thicker as you go along and then there's some craft and at the back, and again there's two different weights it seems, so that the, at the front it's a bit thinner and then you get more cardstock and then there, you know, you've got black and you've got two weights and the reason I like it is because it's ring bound okay, and you can pull it like that and I like this edge here and I'm going to have that as the base so these are from uh, the range and I know that they do smaller ones as well so they are really useful Okay, so what I'm going to do, this is A4 size. I'm just going to actually just pause the camera a minute because I'm on low battery. Just one second. Sorry about that. I didn't want my uh, video and my camera to cut out. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold this really roughly in half because I want it to look rough. My desk's a bit dirty because I've done with cleaning it. Never mind. And then I'm going to just rip it down the middle. Use a ruler. If you like straight edges, use your trimmer or your scissors. I want these to look rough. And then fold them in half the other way. Okay. And do the same. Then you've got four bases. Okay. There we go. So four bases. So this is my favourite here. Um, I have prepared one here and dried it that is one of the ones that doesn't have this but this is my favourite and I'll show you the other ones that I've done at the end so then what I did and I'm not going to do it now because it um, makes it the video longer I put tea dye ink all over my desk spritz it with water and just dab that in and dry it with a heat tool if you don't have distress ink you could use whatever other water based inks I've got loads of stamping up inks I've got uh, beige ones, you can use any um, early espresso, water it down, acrylic paints, it'll do the, it'll do the same job or you know you can just get some tea in a spray bottle and spray it with tea or coffee loads of different things you can do so this is my favourite but obviously you only get two per sheet so I'm working on this one so I've got a selection of things here and these are scraps I'm working out of my scrap pile and um, so I've got some scraps of um, scrapbooking paper I've got some book pages and I've got some scraps of this is a digital print of a letter um, it was a freebie from somewhere uh, probably a rough guess the old design shop okay so what I've got this now like that's fine what I'm gonna do is just ink my edge Uh, you can stamp on them, you can do what you want. I end up, I'm not going to stamp these because I'll end up just covering over it. <laughs> and you won't see any of it. So I'm going to leave the back plane and decorate the front. I'm leaving the back plane for journaling. What you can do and what I am going to start doing, inspired by Carol Law, I've got a saying of I want a tuck spot on every, everywhere I can. And she seems to say she wants a pocket on as many journaling cards as she can. So like this one here, she'd put a little pocket on the back and put something in. So that's an idea, but I'm going to leave them plain at the moment for, uh, for journaling. Right, so that scrap there is just about big enough. So I have got one of these. Um, it's a deck. This is called Decal Edge. It is from Creative Expressions. I did gifted. Tim Holtz do one. You can. I've seen lots. If you uh, can't get hold of one of these, just rip it yourself. Don't matter. It, it just uh, just looks. I don't know. It's just easier. <laughs> is the word I'm looking for um, I'm mindful 
of the time trying to keep my videos short in the hope that more people will watch them because <laughs> now I'm not doing card making I don't get as many views um, but I'm not worried because um, I'm doing what I love doing and uh, if I can uh, inspire somebody or give somebody something to watch during the day when they're bored then that's a bonus Otherwise, I'm just in, I'm just having enjoying it. So I want that to be about. I need at least that much, don't I? All right, get my ruler. So, like I say, I've got quite a few journals. You know, when you have an idea in your head and you can, and you just need to get it out. That's what I'm like. And until I've done it and it's completed, I will lay in bed on a night wide awake all I was thinking about it. It does me a in. <laughs> so I've got the. Um, I want to do this Victorian people journal. I want to do a secret garden journal because I've got the book and I'm collecting things for that. I want to do some Christmas ones before it gets too late. Uh, <laughs> I've got. Uh, loads of ideas in my head and I want to do um, another winter one. I want to use the beautiful winter one from Artie Mays again with the lovely owls. I used it last year and I, I just, I loved it and I just want to use that same kit again. It's on my computer so um, I shall be using that one again. I love it because of all the blues and it's just got really lovely colours. Right, so what I'm going to do is, at the moment, I'm using Yuho stick because I'm finding that Crit sticks are, are, are they're expensive. <laughs> I'm the rate that I'm going through them, although I think Crit sticks are better. But I just thought I'd give this Yuho stick a go and see what it's like because it was only a pound from the range. Well, I'll see what it's like. It might be rubbish. I don't know, but as long as it kind of does the job. Uh yeah. So no I want my book page first, Amanda. Book page first, what an Anna. Right. I'm trying to be quick so that the video's not ten hours long. And then I don't have to speed it up and edit it and I can uh, waffle in your ear because doing voiceovers is alright, but it's not it's not uh your first reaction, is it? And I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> Right, so I'm just going to get some lace. I've been um, going through all of our wardrobes um, the last few weeks and I've been um, taking bits and bobs. I've took this lace off of a shirt that I'm never going to wear. So it was just like a lace panel over the collar. So I've cut that off and the material of it, I'll make flowers. Um, this is a little piece taken from a neck curtain I've had for years. Um, you know... Um, it's uh, buying lace as a dear do, so if I can thrift it and scrimp it, I will do. Um, okay, duck. So I'm just gonna cut a panel of this, not that. Uh, I'll just have a couple of flowers, just cutting it roughly. You only need a little bit, and it's just adds texture. And interest, I don't want all of that. So I'll trim trim it down a bit. I don't need all of that. Trim it down a bit, but these bits I'll save because they'll go underneath sentiments or I'll add them to another tag. So they then go in my scrap box. Don't waste anything. I'm going to get some scrapbooking paper under here as well. Let's have a look. See if I can find a bit. There we go, that's got kind of a straightish edge. Let's just give that a rip. Okay. Bob that away a minute. Rip that. Rip that. There and there. And it's just literally layering up. It's so easy. I mean, there's loads of videos out there, but... So I'm not really teaching anybody out new, but I just like sharing what I'm doing. Coming on and having a bit of a waffle and a catch-up. Um, I'm going to going out this afternoon to go and try and get some Christmassy ribbons and trims from somewhere because I really don't have any and I'm struggling to find any without ordering them from China which I haven't the patience to wait for stuff to come from China I haven't, I haven't got time for that right so bob that there so if you struggle with collaging 
<coughs> oops. If you struggle with collaging, stick to this one rule, all right? Stick one piece to the right, another piece overlapping it to the left, slightly smaller, and then one in the middle. And there's your base. You can't really go wrong. Because um, some people do struggle with collaging and they're like, well, I don't know what to do and where to play stuff. Just do that. One, two, three, boom. And then add a bit of something else. But start with that. It's so easy. And then you just go from there. And then the more you practice, the better it'll get. But when I'm doing things in bulk, because I've made um, several of these, I just tend to do the same layout. It just makes it easier. All right. So I'm going to try this on the lace. I will be running around with, um, you know, sewing, sewing it probably at the end as well, but I won't do that on camera. So I probably will be sewing it, so it, will, it won't be going anywhere. I'm going to use white stitching or find, I wouldn't mind like a sagey green colour, but I might have to have a look at some different colour threads when I go out today. I like the black on vintage things, but I just feel it makes things look dark and I'm not a big fan of it. So I'm going to try and start using different colours if I'm sewing other than black. I'm just not, I don't know why, I'm just not keen. Right, so I also want... <coughs> one of these. There we go. I'm going to put a top uh, tab and this scrapbooking paper I'm using I've had in my collection it's called the Bronte and it was available from the range about four years ago and I've just not used it so I've got sheets of it outside of me and as I do this journal I'm going to use that as accent pieces um, to cut down on how much digital printing I have to do And then for my digital pages, I'll probably find something in Andrea's shop, Artemis. I'll see what I've got in my collection. To go with my theme. Getting a nice collection of... Uh, I might need to get an external hard drive to save them on. <coughs> Excuse me from coughing. It's, I don't know if it's left over from when I had Covid, but I just... Can't seem to shift it. Right, so these are my Tim Holtz people. I had these gifted. So the thicker ones were gifted to me by um, Lisa in America. And then the slightly thinner ones, um, which are like thick cardstock, were gifted to me by Eileen. I like that one. That's nice. Oh, I like that girl as well. Don't like a black socks. How dare you have black socks? Let's have a look. So it's Victoria. So I'm, this journal is on people, um, but with the, the flowers, and I'm not being uh, non-appropriate. I don't want to put a man on there. If my daughter were you she'd shout at me. She's very into all the right things to say when it comes to gender and. What not, I don't get it all me, but I'm trying. Makes you feel very old and very inappropriate. Oh, I like that one with the dog. We'll have her. We'll have this little girl. And um, with the dog, I like that. Right, so we will put her on there with the pooch and layer it over the lace. I've used um, the 3-in-1 for that because it's a heavier kind of cardstock and um, because I've overlapped she will attach to the paper and it will help hold that lace down as well. Alright, so that's that. And then we'll have this, shall we? Pretty? Or shall we have beautiful? We'll have pretty. So these are from... I'm out of shot again, aren't I? Sorry, these are, for, I'll sit back, it's because I've got this cardstock here to try and stop that ring light glaring on the glass. So these are from My Parch Prints. And um, these little words, and they come in a little kit with like little tags and things for you to put them on, little miniature ones, and you layer them up and you, you can make like little tag dangles. It's lovely, I can't remember the name of it. 
No point asking me the name of anything. I'm surprised I remember my own name half the time. Right, so a little bit of cheesecloth. Oh, have I got any of these scraps? I could use one of these scraps, actually. I think I will. I'll use some of this scrap lace. Instead of cutting into my cheesecloth. This is like, uh, that's all I've got. I don't know why this pill stuck to it. So I don't know where to get it locally. Um... Which is quite bizarre because I used to sell cheesecloth and muslin. I buy, I used to sell my bear. What did I used to sell? It was one of my most popular uh, muslin, a special I used to sell probably 40, 50 yards a week of that <laughs> when I had my lace shop. And now I've got no. <laughs> it's quite strange. Oh, I don't think I could uh, get into that again. That was hard work. Right, so put that on there, pretty. Let me just move that down a bit. And again, that will help hold that fabric on. Just to hold it while it dries. Okay, and then because less is definitely not more with me. More is more. <laughs> I did put a little bit of bling on, um, which I love to do. And it's just this little... Uh, four rhinestone plastic bling, mesh bling it's called and I just put three so it lasts forever because you don't need a lot because I think if you put loads on it it'll make it look tacky but just a little tiny bit is really nice and it adds a, just a little, gives your project just a right little bit of a lift with that tiny bit of sparkle um, Okay, I'd stick a butterfly on there as well, but that would be just going a bit far. So that's that one, okay, and I'll show you the others that I did when I was practicing. So that's one journaling card. Whether I will um, put pockets on the back, I don't know yet, but we'll see. So I'll need to leave her to dry. And then this was the first one I did when I was trying it out. So I just love this down the side. Um... I don't have a machine that does it or a punch that does that, but I think it's great. There's another one. Okay, so they're all the same layout. They've just got different uh, paper dolls on, and that just makes it easier for you. So there I've got a collection of four really pretty journaling cards. Out of scraps, the only thing that I've added is the Tim Holtz uh, dolls. If you can't get hold of these, there are, um, you can get hold of some on Pinterest, print them out on some cardstock or even some copy of paper, it doesn't matter. Fussy cut it and stick it on. There's always a way to find what you need if you can't get hold of these. I mean I had them gifted but I can't always afford Tim Holtz stuff. Now I'm not working, I've got to watch my pennies. Um, so I was lucky I had them gifted but if there's something out there that's an expensive brand and you think well I, ca I can't do that then because I can't buy those, go on Pinterest. Use the keyword paper dolls, and um, that's what these are called, or vintage images, and you'll find some. Honestly, and you'll be able to print them out probably for free. So there you go. I hope you've enjoyed uh, making those with me today. Well, one of them, not all of them, but you know what I mean. I'm going to go now. I've got to go and get some Christmas trims. <laughs> See you soon. Bye for now.